Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. There you go. Today we're gonna pretty much try to finish this whole uh, GUI scaling thing with the percentages for the uh, player GUI as well. So everything else is pretty much working. It's just the player GUI left. I just want to show you some changes I made before we get going and mainly those changes are here so I want you to just pause the video and look at all of these numbers uh, mainly the colors here I changed and also the placement of the buttons okay so I want you to just see that uh, also I did change the background to BG2 so I just want you to know that uh, if yours doesn't look like mine, you don't need to do this if you don't want. I just added in another background just to play around with it and it's here. So I'm going to also start off by just control Xing all of this, removing that function entirely. And I'm going to put that in here, uh, right here instead. Oh, wait, I want to do this in front. So this is just a little small fix we're going to have to do. Whoops before we start working with uh, with the player GUI and then I'm just gonna say VM width so we use the same the video mode and everything not the window itself and BG2 and hopefully this should work buttons um, background Okay, uh, and then that's pretty much it. Am I recording? Yes, I am. All right. So, so there you go. There you go. Reset GUI. Now, this won't really be a good thing. I need to delete it as well if we ever do reset the GUI, which we should. So, you should copy this thing right here and just put it. Whoops. Just put it. Whoa, what am I doing? Are you serious? Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Okay. So first you want to delete everything in buttons and then clear it. Pretty much. Also, you want to... You know, we'll work with that later. It's not really that important. You just keep it like this. We won't use this just yet. Anyway, check out all the numbers. Make sure they match your your stuff. So you can just change those and use BG2 as well. So once that's done, you want to go into Player GUI dot h or h yeah h dot h file and then you want to go in here to the constructor and we're going to actually add a sf video mode reference vm here copy this okay and put it in the cpp file right here all right and now we just need one thing. We actually need the player GUI to keep track of this video mode at all times because we're going to use it a lot and we don't have, want to have to send it into all of these functions later on. So we just want to make sure it, it, keeps track, it keeps track of the video mode and we'll keep it as a reference, okay? Uh, but now this constructor is going to complain. So what you want to do is just use the initializer list here and say VM, VM. And then we'll have the virtual or the, not the virtual machine, the video mode for ourselves here. Once you do that, we can actually use it wherever we want because the video mode is, um, yeah, the video mode is the video mode and you won't be able to change the video mode here, wherever we use the player. So every time we start a new game, it's automatically gonna be set to whatever the settings set it to basically if we ever make a settings menu from the in-game from the game state then we need to make a function that resets the video mode and everything else will change um, but we can handle that later if we ever get to that point it's not that big of a deal to actually do this we need to go in um, where do we initialize everything Oh, right here. Okay, here. Oh, here we go. All right. So once the VM is set, we can start working with all of these. These are the positions, obviously, and the heights and the width. Now, let's get back to our tr trusty calculator. 
and just calculate all of these things. I'm just going to do that quickly and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. Uh, this would have taken like two videos in itself to do, but I just, I just thought I'd pause it for you guys and just complete everything and tell you where everything is. So you can just copy all of this. You can just go in to GitHub and copy all the code or just pause the video in each one of these sections and copy all of this stuff. But this is so we can go through and, and, and work on more stuff today uh, instead of having to just write a bunch of shit. But anyway, these are the numbers. Do not forget to check if you have P2P X or P2P Y. Okay, so this is very important. You want to make sure that's the that's the stuff that you're using. So for height, you want to use Y for width X. Okay, same thing for X and Y here for the positions X, Y. Don't forget that. Just make sure you do that. And then everything else will be completed on its own. Then you want to check the character size. And I kind of send in the calculate character size, but with 80 here. I think it's still going to be too big, but we can micromanage that later. I haven't really tested this yet. And then here, I kind of, there's plus 10F and plus 5F. So I just converted those to um, percentages as well. Remember X and Y, okay? Do not forget those. Very important because you'll use different values and you'll get all kinds of weird values. So make sure these are correct. And there you go. Those are the values for this. You can just pause the video here. This is the next section. The same thing applies here. X and Y. Remember those, all right? Just copy all of these values just like this. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Once you've done that, you go down here. Copy this. Same thing in here. All right. And then the same thing in here. All right. Hopefully you paused and you, you copied all of that as well as here. You can pause it. This is the last one, the HP bar. All the stuff here. Boom, 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 boom. All right. These four on the top. Also, the character size and the two final set position for the text right here. All right, so once you've done that, you can mostly copy paste most of these so you don't have to rewrite all of that. But uh, these are a little more specific, so you might have to change these a bit. So there you go, guys and girls, pretty much it. Also, I included GUI.h in the player GUI.h file. Okay, just make sure you do that. You can remove this player.h here because we have the class player here, we'll find it by itself, forward declare, kind of. Um, and then there is something in game state we have to change. We have to actually send in this state data GFX settings uh, resolution. So once you send that in, that will be saved and you should be good. So your player GUI is created. Mm. Once that's done, you should be able to run it without any issues. Uh, no, wait, it is required, I think. I might have been wrong about that. You know what, just keep player.h here and just run it. And we'll see if it works and if it looks all right. Nope. Obviously some, some problems. Okay, so the issue is this. So we forgot to remove the function head or the prototype thingy for this the init background since we removed that function completely so we don't want that in our life we just want to make sure we remove that completely sorry about that i forgot it was a noob mistake but usually if you get this error that's maybe it's a good lesson if you ever get this error unresolved external symbol usually that is because uh, there is a uh, there's a function that you haven't declared yet Okay, you just made exactly that mistake. You just had a header thingy here in the H file, but you never declared it in the CPP file. So usually that's the error. So you can uh, you can always debug it using these. Anyway, hopefully it will run now. Please, pretty please. I hope you'll run. Yes, it does. And now we can actually check for this beautiful... Oh yeah, this is very weird, by the way. Why, why did it do that? That's very strange. Settings apply. Okay, that's very weird. Never did that before. Uh, anyway, if we run the game, you'll see the text is too big, but all, all everything else works fine. So if we want the text to be, I don't know why it bugged out. Wait, let me just, this is, this is weird. You know what? I'll check it until the next video. Let's just fix this problem. Uh, let's go to player GUI CPP. And oh no, I know what the problem is. Never mind. We'll fix it in this video just in a second here. Uh, first of all, I'm going to change these to maybe 120. All right. 
and maybe this the uh, this is a hundred uh, I don't know what to divide it with 80 maybe a hundred yeah maybe 120 140 and then 120 on these I don't know what that will give us probably a pretty small number but let's see um, just want to make it look nice you know once okay that looks a little better these two don't really look that good yet um, so we need to do 160 on these two I think this is level right so 150 160 maybe even smaller here as well 160 and then we're gonna fix that background in main menu state so you want to go to your init background and here you should say height okay you probably already guessed that fixed it it's just me that forgot about it but yeah that's what you want and then your backgrounds are gonna look nice just a little random background I made for the game I changed the buttons up a little bit as you can see I don't have a title anymore but I will create that probably in the next video just to have it now this looks a little bit better the exp text looks still a little too big so I'm actually going to end the video here, but I'm just going to change it to 180 on these two, both of these. Just so the text is a little bit smaller. And then I'm, we're just going to end the video here. But that's it, guys and girls. Hopefully, hopefully you learned something. Uh, the player menu is working. The player GUI. We're going to fix all the small stuff in the next video and begin on some other stuff some new stuff probably some inventory or something like that but I'll, I'll look into some problems we're having and fix them before we get to that point we'll also add a title uh but thank you so much for watching thanks for all the support you guys are amazing 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 people i really really appreciate all the support and you guys are just great so keep working hard hopefully i'll see you in the next one all right bye bye